Hi, it's Ben Cherry. Hello there, Cesarina. And myself, um, I'm Cesarina Tron, and we are uh, broadcasting here with me in Cincinnati and Centauri Green in UK, Burgess Hill. I am so, so um, delighted to be back. Um, and so are you, Centauri, because we have a really wonderful topic to explore today, uh, something that you're very passionate about. Absolutely. Can't wait to tell you about it. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's all the genius voice, as Santari calls it. And as I've known it in the past in some of his um, offerings and teleclasses, it is all about the power we carry in our voice and um, the way that that can affect us at many levels and affect everyone listening. So, um, I'd like to introduce my co-host today. I'm going to be interviewing Santari um, on his upcoming teleclass, Genius Voice. Oh, thanks, Susanna, for that introduction. Well, this is a four-week teleclass. It starts on October the 8th, and then it goes to October 15th, 22nd, and 29th. Um, the details are on a couple of websites, which I'll give later. Um, it's called uh, Genius Voice, and it's really a follow-on from a very successful teleclass that I did uh, with Solera, my wife, um, around um, genius writing. And uh, we found that um, people really liked uh, the energetic feel of what we were doing. So this was quite a natural follow-on from that. Um, the Genius Voice telecast itself really, I guess, is composed of a couple of elements. One of them is about um, people wanting to get their voice heard and uh, their uh, message out into the world. So it will address um, those particular areas of um, people's interest. And the other um, area is about how do you actually modulate your voice to be able to carry um, certain qualities that um, give certain effects? So, for instance, can your voice be um, really clear and um, powerful, powerfully evocative, and uh, allow people to really get into this state of being able to understand what you're saying without necessarily listening to all the um, intellectualizing and complexities of language. Um, can people really pick up on certain clues in voice that um, give them this feeling of they're not only just listening to you, but they feel they're in the same room with you. They feel that um, they're so much attuned to you that they understand you. It's very much about people being able to listen as well as people being able to speak. I think the two go hand in hand. And of course, there's a little bit of science um, to go with this too. How do we be able to vocalize something, produce a sound that um, carries certain resonances uh, that people are able to pick up on, and um, somehow they hear the, um, the sound pressure, and it gets conveyed into um, certain signals that the brain recognizes, interprets, and does all sorts of amazing stuff with it. I'm not sure that we understand all of this completely <laughs> or in any, any real sense, but to get a flavor of what's involved, I think, is very useful. And uh, so, therefore, it's in the sense of an exploration. Uh, and it's um, also to be able to get the energetic vibe uh, associated with what what we consider to be the voice that we all want to have, and perhaps we haven't quite got there yet. You know, what is all that really about? So uh, it will be um, as much as people asking questions, as much as um, my giving some sort of understanding about what's involved. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you've got some questions of your own that you'd like to ask. Um, I know that um, every time you lead a teleclass or you're even in, in our Google Hangouts, every so often you guide us in a, in a, in a journey. And for me, it has been all, always powerful to listen to how your tone of voice changes during that time. Um, I don't know if you feel comfortable to, to try a minute of that or a couple minutes of that. They're usually short journeys. They don't have to be long. But just to um, explore, you know, like you said, the qualities of what the power of this, um, this genius voice journey can bring us. Um, 
and it's all done in the moment spontaneously as as we are doing now we never prepare a script for our show we show up and we we uh, step into our own presence and we allow that presence to speak with us through us in us um, and then so forth so um, is there like a, a exercise or a, a guiding um, possibly a, a, a moment where we could experience it with you Santari I know you're <laughs> You're always ready, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like being put on the spot. Yeah. Well, sometimes where the best stuff comes anyway, when you don't have to prepare and you just initiate something. Well, let's um, have an intention. Let's say that um, um, I could thrill you with the, the whole power of this teleclass in just um, a couple of minutes. And let's say it's possible, and let's say that it maybe is already happening. That I don't really have to do anything myself, but that uh, you get the feel of the, the power of, of the energy field. So let's just um, line up together um, with an intention that um, you be powerfully moved by um, this telecast, the genius voice, and that it's already working its magic with you. And um, you get a sense that it isn't just about my speaking, but it's about equally as what's moved in you. How do you respond to my voice? What does um, the energy um, field feel like when we talk about something that's um, genius in communication? Um, how evocative is it? It's not just about words as we've talked about previously in other shows. It's not just about um, you listening to what's being spoken but it's about how you interact, how you go into a state of listening and uh, feeling um, that something is being done in that moment between, something is moving between the two of us. And I think it's this um, power to be able to communicate on different levels that um, allows us to do things that ordinarily you'd wonder, well, how, how is that possible? How can two people really just spend a couple of moments together really not say anything uh, and yet still have an experience and um, that's the magic of it I'm not saying that uh, I'm not going to say too much about that but that you actually do have an experience mm -hmm. and there's something in the quality of the voice itself that enables um, that experience to perhaps be enhanced to be magnified in some way and that it um, it's really made real for you in a physical sense as well as um, in a non-physical sense. Mm -hmm. So, what did you experience? As, I, as I'm listening and I was listening to your words, I dropped what happens for me immediately um, with the voice change, with the tone, with the, there is a rhythm, internal rhythm and an internal, an inner music that, that I step in. So, it starts slowing down, I notice my breath, and I deeply go into this part of myself that I guess everyone could call it their inspiration, their core self, their, um, their genius self, their, that space that is very easy to connect to and yet, you know, we don't do it all the time. But it takes us right there. Um, it's, it can be the platform, the, the foundation from which we um, write, from which we get inspired, from which we speak. It takes us, and it's that we spoke in um, some of other teleclasses that you have had uh, with Solera, this inner marriage that happens. So there's this, you know, this part of you that comes back to that inner self, and that inner marriage, that beautiful falling in love starts to to be felt, the intimacy, and um, you feel very much at ease, that's my experience, I just feel like I become one with my inner child, my inner child is always there, it's, it's hugging me, it's lovely, it's delightful, um, and it's safe, and, and that's, I think, that's what people need to understand, that um, a lot of times there's this tendency to, to run out of yourself and go spread out and, and go chase after whatever is out there outside of you and really the power is to come right back in, come back in and, and experience this 
um, this un unification, I might say, or intermarriage, as you have spoken of, of the uh, the inspiration and the one being inspired and the piece of inspiration account. All of the pieces are there. Uh, the the uh, the voice itself and the one who is um, speaking and the power behind the voice and the inspiration that comes through the voice. All of that is one there in that space. So if that makes any sense, you you are sort of asking me in the moment what I feel, and that's what is taking me to this. To this place of quietness and and um, delight and joy, and yet it's it's very stable, very um, easy to be there, very nurturing. See, I should hire you as my manager. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <coughs> it is. Um, <coughs> That quality of really just sinking straight down into something and feeling uh, soothed and um, nourished, uh, but not drowsy necessarily, uh, not as if you're just going off to sleep, but that you really get um, a sense of um, we're completely at ease with each other, as well as you being completely at ease with yourself and I'm at ease with myself. Uh, and that I think is where a lot of communication happens when you are not in the busyness, but you're in the stillness and uh, in that still, sort of still state um, you're aware of a lot of activity you are then able to um, verbalize that activity as well because that's where your focus is your focus has dropped into that area uh, of awareness and I think it's uh, very powerful place to do anything from. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that um, probably gives uh, you a good taste of what the teleclass is about. Um, yeah. I said it's the on October the 8th is the start date and for the next uh, four weeks um, it's at 5 o'clock UK time, um, uh, 9 o'clock Pacific time and I think it will be noon uh, Eastern no, Standard yes. time. And we could look or take a look at your website or one of the websites at least, um, where people yep. could go and be connecting with the with the teleclass and register. Yep. I know one of them is the um, one of the one of the um, uh, websites is the uh, Visionary Network. That's Yep, there we go. Visionary Network, uh, Global Teleclasses. I uh, just see it on the left hand side there. It says Genius Voice with Sanitary Green. Uh, you can sign up there, um, pay by PayPal. Uh, another place will also be on uh, my own website. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just see if I can pull that one up as well. Yeah, Sanitary Green. Um, I will have a selection on there devoted to teleclasses and um, you'll be able to find out um, more information. So there we go. <laughs> Anything else that um, our listeners or viewers um, might benefit from um, before they, to know before they um, sign up? I know that uh, um, this was plenty uh, as, a, as a little um, taster. Preview, taster, yeah, sampler. Um, but anything else you wish to add? Um? Well, um, I think people can go back to other Google Hangouts that we've done and see how we've actually um, conducted the conversations with people. Because we put people at their ease, um, you and I, and I think you're very gifted in this respect just as much as I am. And we uh, enable people to really give of themselves. That as you say, they go into that space with us and uh, they start to perhaps speak in a way that they hadn't um, thought that they would do. They hadn't been prepared for. And uh, we make it easy for people. And I think that's all part of um, getting people to, to really communicate. Um, what they really want to talk about and perhaps they don't often find the words to but we enable that space to be prepared in which people um, really understand that it's not just about the 
the words. It's about the, the what moves us in that moment. And somehow it inspires and fires and initiates something uh, within us that we feel almost impelled to start a torrent of conversation. And we start to be moved by um, by something which is really charming in its own way and it has its own voice and um, it expresses itself through us and um, I find it sometimes very interesting to to put new language to this and I think the language is very often the ability to be able to surrender completely into the moment and to allow something new to be um, to be evoked that quite often doesn't have its own name yet and it doesn't have its own uh, sense of self but we can give it a sense of self mm -hmm. and I think that's part of the intention of the teleclass also that we take time to find out uh, what's being birthed and what wants to be given a voice and uh, what wants perhaps to be given its own space with us yeah. And I think that that's where the beauty of the exploration lies too. Yeah, as you're speaking again, I'm going to give uh, everyone a, t a taste of what I'm experiencing. As you're speaking just now, um, a, a whole idea, a poem is coming to me, which I will probably be writing after we say goodbye. Um, and what, what the title, what came to me was The Unspoken and the Unwritten. Um, you know, the unspoken and the unwritten energy of the moment is so delightful and um, just like the screen is flickering right now, it's a response to, <laughs> <laughs> it's a response to, you know, um, how do we notice our field of energy around us and emanating from within us and how do we notice the interaction and the joy of the blending and the dancing of that, which we are, uh, the pure delight of the light and the uh, inspiration that comes from the coming, that comes from the, the alchemy of, of two or more coming together and a group exploring this. So um, it sounds beautiful and amazing and magical and the new words will come as we, I'm sure as you um, start the teleclass and, uh, and uh, I'm sure we will get together again and speak about what has happened and possibly even invite, that's another idea, invite someone from the teleclass to share with us um, how have they been transformed. Mm, beautiful. There we go, the poet alchemist has arisen in Cesarina <laughs> once again. <laughs> so, um, it, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is working, um, you know, for everyone watching. This is the power of the genius voice, so you see it in action. Yes, you see, you see the action. And you see the, yeah, you see the inspirations as they emerge, uh, emerge from within us. There you go. So enjoy <laughs> and uh, come to uh, uh, join Santari on October uh, 8th. Uh, sign up on Visionary Network or on SantariGreen.com. And it's as easy as that. <laughs>